Hello, YouTube people. Uh, I, something that's been in the news a lot lately that, that's really bugged me for years is the whole Israeli-Palestine thing. Um, when uh, I, I would say from when I was a kid until maybe 2007, I had strong beliefs that the uh, Palestinians were terrorists and that the Jews were innocent. Uh, I should say Israelis very specifically. Um, the uh, something after the 2008 election. There, there was one of those uh, internet blog debates that I got involved in that made me rethink everything that I assumed. And the more I researched it, the more I realized how bad Palestinians were being screwed by the Israeli government. And I don't even think a majority of Israelis want that to happen, but somehow it keeps happening. And part of how it keeps happening is U.S. involvement. And I've got a, a little metaphor just to make you understand how I see the situation over there. Imagine yourself on the beach, and you're laying there, having a good time. Your family's there, kids making castles or whatever in the sand. And uh, your your kid comes over to you crying, Oh, Daddy, 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 they kicked sand in my face. And you're like, what? Who the f who who kicked sand in my kid's face? And you're looking around, and you can't see anybody that that might have done it. And uh, you you feel suspicious and you mistrusting, and you don't know who's on your side and who's not. And uh, at one point, somebody kicks sand in your face, and you see who's done it. But before you can do anything about this person who kicks sand in your face, you have a dump truck of sand dumped on yourself. And you're, it's in your eyes, it's in your ears, you're breathed it in, it's up your nose, you, you, you struggle to get out of the pile that you're in. And while you're climbing out of the pile, the people that dumped sand on you start get, raising attention to the situation. You're all out of the sand and you look fine, but you're not. And everybody starts to look. And the person that kicked sand in your face in the first place starts to say, look, it's a madman. It's a madman. And you are mad. You're very mad. You're coughing and choking, and you want to get some sort of revenge for this. You, you got revenge for your kid and for yourself. And you start swinging wildly, trying to hit the, your aggressor. You're kicking and punching, and, and you hit the, the old man wearing the umbrella hat that was nearby. And you, you kick your own wife by accident, and you're just, you're, you're just so frustrated and helpless. And you, you do the only thing that you can to defend yourself, which is also stupid. And you've gone nowhere. And the real aggressor looks like a hero. And you look like an asshole. And you're the Palestinian. Obviously, the sand kicker is the Jewish, the Israeli government over there. And uh, it's, it's an awful, awful, terrible situation. And uh, I'm going to do a blog link uh, below here because YouTube comments are all so tiny that people can't really develop a full thought. So I want people to be able to respond uh, in complete sentences and and be allowed to put links and, and photographs in if they want to, uh, if they know uh, HTML enough to do it. So that'll be down there and some more details on how I arrived at my position in this argument. But uh, one of the most heinous things is the U.S. involvement, and uh, the the problem is not only not only is our government handing them enormous amounts of money and weaponry, uh, not that like if we if we just stopped doing that it wouldn't solve our budget problem. That it's not that much money, but it's a huge amount of money. Um, if so, we support the Israelis financially and mechanically and uh, at the same time over here in America it's it seems that a majority of us have either are Christians or had Christian upbringing which allows a, a latent thought in our heads to think that that Jews are persecuted and innocent in every way 
and that uh, that somehow they need to be untouchable, uh, like a mobster untouchable. And uh, and I think those thoughts in our head are wrong. They got there for the wrong reasons with the wrong basis, and it's just stupid. And until a majority of us realize how stupid it is, our government's going to keep handing the aggressor money to do more aggression, and it's it's going to lead into a, a very bad thing. So that's it for this.